Hey there, so today we have another review. This is actually courtesy of uh, Jonathan. Um, thank you so much. This is actually, I believe, the last one. Uh, I thought I reviewed the last one um, of the awesome box he sent me of some uh, New England goodies. Well, stuff that he gets access to in New England. So this is Wittermaker Brewing. They're out of Braintree, Massachusetts, which uh, is Core Juice, double IPA, hazy, Citroen Apollo, 8%. And that just reminds me of that like Seth Meyers skit. Well, they had, the funny thing is they had that skit on SNL and then they made it like, I think a Super Bowl commercial where it's like, uh, right? Yeah, well, anyway, it's like a Boston joke. The Super Bowl commercial is a Boston joke, but like the Seth Meyers skit was like, Worcester, Somerville, Brain, like, you know, all the, whatever, like Massachusetts slash Boston suburb, whatever. Like, I'm not from there. It, it, it's funny. I, I think funny, even, even though it's an inside joke for people uh, in that area. But if you guys know that joke, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Boston. Uh, nice looking haze. Um, has a little bit of like a weird tinge to the color. Definitely a good amount of chunky, so a good amount of chunkies. Not the freshest, but I've kept it cold, so less than two weeks fresh, two months fresh. Yeah, that's, that's fresh. Right. Um, medium deep gold color, full on haze. Yellowish head, doesn't look that nice on the head, but it smells pretty good. Um, I mean, it's citrus. It's just oranges, bright, bright, citrusy, zesty, zippy. It's got like a, a little bit of pineapple, but it's just like, it's it's orange juice concentrate, Minute Maid, out of the freezer section. I know people still use that stuff. Or if they still make it. I will say, I accidentally kept my beer fridge um, open for a few hours. So it's a little bit warm, but it's not bad though. Up front, um, opens up. I mean, it's a little too warm for this, um, for the issue that it has, it opens up with this kind of like um, flowery slash polyphenol kind of hop generic thing. Um, again, we talk about the arrow. I mean, it's, I mean, I, I don't know what it is, but maybe I don't review, that's probably what it is. I don't review that many local, like, New England slash Northeast New England IPAs anymore, but for a while, you know, every other beer I was reviewing was one of those. And they all had this like generic-ish kind of that kind of flavor. This was not too bad, but um, it's a flight beer. Like for people that are OGs that like find the style disgusting, I have this a little warm, I can sort of sleep why. It's stickily sweet. Uh, it doesn't really have quote unquote bounce to it. It has a lot of residual sweetness, a lot of fluffiness to it from that like um, oat wheat thing. Um, it's dry too, but it's not bounce. You could argue, yeah, see, I don't find it bounce. Um, well, I guess the polyphenol kind of character kind of helps dry it, but it's still such a fat beer. Like it, it doesn't make you kind of like refreshed. It sort of hits up front of like tropical fruit, navel orange, pithiness. Um, all that beautiful citric character pushes onto a little bit of mango, has a multi sweetness behind it. That little bit of like, um, this one almost tastes like it has a little bit of lactose to it, but it's just a little bit of residual sweetness, booze character on the back end, and then this drying, almost like empty feeling. And sometimes that empty feeling is a good thing when it makes a beer like a lager, or like you know, a pale beer, or a spritzy beer. We think about like, you know, refreshing beers like, you know, lager, saison, uh, maybe even like um, hoppy pale ale, blah, blah, blah. Um, certain Belgian styles with a carbonation. This with that polyphenol bite, it's like dryness is like, you think it'd make you want to go in for more, but like, eh. And this comes from someone that loves New England IPA, right? Yeah. Um, again, I'm not giving this the best credit because it is slightly warm. Like, like, this is like the temperature of like your last sip. I'd say it's like somewhere around here like your last sip where it's like, all right, just chug it. Um, whereas like, it'd be enjoyable all the way here if you had it at like fridge temperature at like 38. This right now I ha have it probably around like 45, 50 degrees, maybe even 50. Yeah, probably more like 50. And like, yeah. I mean, it's re if you, it reveals a beer and all its flaws, which is honestly pretty good. Like if I had this cold, um, Rocco, sorry, scratching the back. Rocco, thank you. Uh, uh, if, if, if I had this cold, I would suspect that it would give me more impression for higher ratings. So let's maybe like, 
like judge it based on that, not like exactly what's in this glass, but like if I had it really nice, because it does have that tropical punch I like, or tropical punch, not tropical punch flavor. Um, tropical punch, big citrusy notes. Um, I think the dryness is a little bit exaggerated because it's warmed up, but like when it's at cold temperature, that dryness helps like its drinkability. I mean, that's a good example, or almost, I'll be a very good example of Citroen New England IPA, uh, double IPA. Um, nothing crazy crazy, but very good. Let's go with a, I'm like, re, like retrace the rating on this one. At proper temperature, this probably be like a solid 93. 93. That is Cory Juice from, um, uh, uh, sorry, Widowmaker. Widowmaker. Again, not something I'd go nuts like drinking the whole 16 ounce can for. This is good for a bottle share. Does a good job. A minus. That's a solid rating. Until next time, guys. Cheers later.